Hello, welcome to day two of Camp Legend. I'm so excited that you decided to come back and join us for another day of reading and activities. So for our story for today, we read the book Scribble Stones. And what I love about this book is just how you can take something simple, something plain and make it just different, extraordinary, and really appealing to other people with just a little bit of love and attention. One thing in this book, I go to the very end here, the last couple sentences. It says, now thousands of stones inspire creativity each day, all because of a paperweight with a will and a way. So that is what we are going to be using as our inspiration today for our STEAM activity. That's going to focus on the A part of STEAM, which is the art. Another thing I always also like to share with students is that the A is not just the art, but it's the aesthetics of things. It's caring about what you created, uh, being proud of what you made. And so we are going to use scribble stones as our inspiration for our activity, and we're going to be making our own. We are once again going to be using the engineering design process for how we're going to design our scribble stones. And if we go back to the model that we used previously, we start out in the ask phase. And so this challenge is a little different today in the fact that I'm telling you we're making scribble stones, but there are still some questions that you could ask yourselves. So what you are going to need is something to write with and something to write on so we can get started on phase one. Okay, remember in our first phase, the ask phase, is that we're trying to ask questions to solve a problem. And what I think is important about this phase here is can you explain what a scribble stone is to someone who hasn't read the story or doesn't have any context as to why we're doing this activity? So make sure you understand what a scribble stone is and be able to maybe share a little bit about the story to give some meaning to that. And the other thing is, are there any constraints or limitations? And we didn't talk about this much yesterday, but a constraint is something where you're putting almost, you have your problem in the middle and you're kind of saying, I have to work within this space here to solve this problem. Maybe I can only use these resources or I can't use these. So for this, our constraints or limitations might be that we can only use stones that are found in our yard or that we have access to. We're not taking things from other people's yards. We need to keep in mind that um, we have to be respectful of nature and we have to be respectful of people's property. So that would be just a few of the constraints or limitations for this project. So jumping into our ask phase, let's take a little bit of time here and start brainstorming some questions for how we are going to create this scribble stone. And it seems like it might be an easy task, but I want you to think a little bit deeper about what we're going to do beyond the scribble stone. So maybe some of the questions you might want to ask are, who are we going to give our scribble stone to? What are we going to do with our scribble stone when we're done? What do we need to create this? So let's take a little bit of time here and let's start jotting down some of those questions. All right, I know that I jotted down some good questions that are already starting to help me think forward about this project. So I'm going to set my ask questions page aside because I might need to come back and refer to some of those questions as I start solving through some of these, um, my imagining and my planning and my creating. So now as we move from our ask phase, we're going to move into phase two, which was our imagine phase. So now this is where I really want you to start thinking tap into that creativity that you have. What could you put on a stone that would make someone else smile, would mean something to you, would look great as a decoration and maybe a plain space? Think about in the story, it originally started out as a paperweight. And so if we look at the book on the first couple of pages, 
it looks pretty plain. It's not all that exciting. So what could you add to a stone to make this page look a little bit more colorful, a little more vibrant, um, something that would kind of draw you in and want to look at it. So we are in phase two of the process and we are going to start imagining. Remember, it is okay to look up online if you are just out of ideas and or even just want to see what other people have done. Sometimes it's fun to just take a look at that. So let's take a little bit of time, start brainstorming those ideas of how you would decorate your stones. Um, then we'll come back when we're done. All right, go. All right, let's come back together here. I ended up looking online myself. I was looking on Pinterest for some ideas and I was really inspired by what I saw and I thought there were some really creative ideas that people had done themselves before. And so I think I might try some of those and then some of my own designs. I'm going to set my imagination page off to the side as well, down by my ask, just in case I need a reference that. I have those ideas right in front of me because now I am moving into that planning phase. And remember in our planning phase, we are going to pick one or maybe in this case, a couple of our ideas that we had from our imagine phase and we are going to really build those into an idea. So because we know we're making scribble stones, we know what it's going to look like. What I would like for you to do is to make a list of the materials that you would need and even start sketching out what some of those ideas that you might have brainstormed, what those might look like. And this will also give you practice drawing them because seeing them, especially if you had to look online, seeing them online is very different than when you have to do it yourself. And I am well aware that stick figures are usually my comfort zone. So I'm gonna try and step outside of that and try something new, creative and bright and see what I can come up with. So let's get together and start writing our plan on our sheet of paper again and remember we are brainstorming materials that we will need as well as what some of those designs might look like in practice drawing those out. All right go ahead and start planning. All right, let's quick come back together for a minute before moving on to our next phase. I am pretty excited about the ideas that I came up with. I feel that they are ones that I could do. I will be pushing myself on drawing on some of them, but I might have to be looking at some ideas on my phone as I actually start going through and drawing them. But I feel that there's something I can do. I came up with several different kinds of materials that I think might work. I'm not sure honestly what is going to work the best, so I'm gonna have to try out some of these items. I'm not sure if Sharpies or paint pens or markers or paints will be the best uh, option for creating, but I'm going to give it my best and see what I come up with. So now we are ready to start creating. Now we have our plan that we came up with, and it might be important that you take this sheet with you as you head out into your yard or somewhere where you can gather rocks where it's okay that you can take them. You're not taking them from someone else's yard without them saying it's okay. Always ask um, and start gathering what you might decorate your rocks with. Be creative with this part. It can be anything. I listed off some of the materials that I thought of. You might thought of different ones and it's great. So I can't see, wait to see what you guys come up with. And so let's stop for a moment. You can just pause the video and let's get creating. Right, welcome back. I hope you had fun uh, designing your scribble stones. I'm really curious to see what you guys came up with, uh, what you used, how you decorated them. I know I actually got into it more than I thought it was going to. It was really fun to just, once I started uh, creating on those racks, uh, it, it was fun coming up with different designs. And to be honest, I ended up doing one that I hadn't even came up with when I was doing my brainstorming and my uh, planning phase. So that was kind of interesting that how your I, the ideas that you thought you had 
uh, just kind of morph into something once you get going. So, so what I came up with was this rack. It says legend on one side, and then it has strong, and that's from my district, and we are the legends, so legend strong. And then this one I made for my daughter. It has a little taco on it and a little heart, and then wrote talk about it on there as a way of just encouraging her to talk about her feelings. So I thought this would be kind of cool to uh, have this so that when she's working through things on her own or with her brother or friends that she can just, you know, when you have the stone, you can talk, you can talk about it. And then I also did a little uh, flower. Simple, but I kind of liked it. So that was um, what I created. And as far as moving into the next part of our engineering design process, as far as the testing, my testing kind of took place as I was creating in the fact that I was testing different materials as far as what would work best for actually decorating my racks. And I ended up using these acrylic uh, markers that are great for drawing and they dried so quickly. I was so impressed at how quickly I could go through that other paint that I tried just did not stick. Um, crayons didn't work well on the racks that I had. Um, Sharpies were great. Um, I just really liked the vibrant uh, colors of the, the pen, so I stuck with those, and that was really, really cool to see, especially when you had the, the taco. So for me, the next part of that testing phase then is to share my scribble stones with people and see what they liked about them, what they would change about them, um, maybe ideas that they have as far as creating their own scribble stones. So I'm excited to start testing that and see what comes back as far as then moving into our last part of improving those designs. And I'm going to take some time as far as doing my testing and improving. I'm not going to come back today and share that part with you because I think it's going to take some time to share those and really get good feedback and experience um, in what they represent and what they mean to other people. So check back in and I'll give you an update as far as how those scribble stones are going with people that I share them with. And that brings us to the last part of sharing. And so what I would like for you to do with your scribble stone is to share it with someone. Either give it to someone, maybe leave it out where someone can see it. I mean, if I walked by and I saw a cute little taco, I would definitely stop and take a look. Something that would just make someone go, wow, that was really creative. That whoever created that really had an eye for detail and really liked what they were doing. So find a spot or find a person to share your scribble stone with. So just to recap on what we did, I'm going to revisit our things that we started with and phase one was our ask phase and we came up with questions as far as what are we going to do with these scribble stones i'm looking at my notes here um what will we need so we started coming up with questions as far as really what what are the next steps what will i need just anything that popped into our heads your questions might have been very different than mine so then we moved into phase two which was our imagine phase and in that phase, we started brainstorming any and all ideas that we had as far as what we might put on them, what they might look like. And um, those things might be very personal. As I say, this whole process, it might seem like, yes, we're going through these cycles, but the design phase can be messy. I look at my imagine phase and it's very different than what I did in the creating phase. And that's totally okay. And it's okay if you skip one step and then come back to it or you loop around and around. The design process is honestly very messy, but it helps give a structure to our thinking and really helps us look at a problem from all angles. So after we imagined, we did our planning and that's where we decided what materials we would need so that when we went out, we had a plan of what we were going to do. Um, ideas, we just kind of sketched some of those out as far as what that might look like. And then we actually went in and did our creating and that was where we actually painted our racks created our scribble stones and then we moved into the testing phase and for me my testing kind of took place during the creation phase as well and so that's where i was testing different mediums as far as how i would make this work because i didn't know until i tried um, and that testing then also extends to 
what I'm going to do with the scribble stones beyond this point here. So that's kind of an ongoing phase for me. I'm going to have to uh, circle back around to that and give an update. And then for our improve stage, that also is going to be something that we're going to have to revisit because once I get that feedback from my testing, then I'll know what to improve for my next designs of my stones. And lastly, sharing. Sharing is caring, right? <laughs> and so by sharing your scribble stones with people, I'm sure it will bring a smile. They'll ask you why you did that, I want you to share a little bit about it. And so you can share that you read the story and that you created these stones and you came up with a plan for what you wanted your stones to look like and really share your whole experience as far as how you got to the point of where you're actually sharing your stone with someone. So I'm excited for tomorrow. I hope you join us again for another day of Camp Legend. We have another fun story and activity planned, and I can't wait to see what you guys end up designing and engineering tomorrow as part of that. And so tomorrow we can talk about what you guys created. Have a great day.